Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in. PLO Professor here. And let's go ahead and dive into our results in Vegas. So one of the things I tell all of my students is, is it's incredibly important for you to track your losses just as much as you track your wins. Recently I was discussing uh, this with a student over a coaching session and just like myself they were on a downswing and I said well did you track any of those sessions and they said no I did not and I said well sometimes it's more important to track the sessions that you lose so that way we can dive into what caused you to lose things of that nature uh, and then we can reflect upon that and learn upon that so real quick this is how Vegas went. You guys already have seen the previous video. If you haven't, congratulations. Yours truly punted a lot this summer. We had a total of $7,800 in cash-ins from tournaments that included some bounties that we had. We had a total of about 31,000 and change just in tournaments, which means we lost about 23K in tournaments. In cash games, I actually had about a $200 hourly rate in one, two, five big O, but we lost about 10K in cash. A little over six of that came into one session of a 25, 25 big O game where uh, Bart Hansen ended up uh, winning about 11K pot. And then you have about two to 7K in expenses. And the reason why there's some flexibility there is because everybody's definition of an expense might be a little bit different. Uh, for net of about $32,000 that I lit on fire in June. So if that does not make you want to quit playing poker, I really do not know what will. Now, one of the things that I decided to do was to take a little bit of a hiatus and I hadn't touched a single card since two weeks from the series. I have played online. I've had some good sessions online. I was gonna go play tonight, but I said, you know what? I, as much as I grinded in June, um, I really just need a, a, a nice hard break, two to three weeks. Now, there is one place where I know for a fact I'm going to be coming up in August. Wayne signed a deal with the Venetian, so he's having a meetup game where I'm going to happen to be there as well. We've got August 1st, their grand opening, the Venetian ribbon cutting ceremony is at four o'clock on August 1st. I plan to be there then. The meetup game is officially August 2nd at 2 p.m. And if you text me, uh, on WhatsApp, I will go ahead and add you to the pre-made list. That Saturday, they're going to be having a $400 PLO tournament with a $100 bounty and a 15K guarantee. So if you're in Vegas, you wanna play with the professor, you wanna play with Donkfish, we're gonna do a round of PLO four high only. Then we're gonna do a round of big O, which is five card high low. And then we're gonna do a round of $10 double board bomb pots. And to spice things up, we're gonna do a $10 small blind jackpot. You put $10 on the button, the only person who's eligible to win that is the small blind. They have to win the pot or scoop the whole pot. So in big O, that's both the high and the low and double board, it is both pots. And if you do win the hand, you win whatever's on the button. If you don't scoop the pot, when the button moves, the next person adds $10 to it. It juices everything up, even if you're playing Hold'em it juices everything up because it's one of those situations where the only person who's eligible to win it is the person in the worst position. So join me in Vegas in August. And you know what? If you're not gonna be in Vegas in August, I got news for you. We're gonna be there mid-September. We're gonna be there in October. And then we're gonna be there for a while during the WPT in December. All of those are officially gonna be meetup games with Wayne. Plus we've done it a few times in some clubs in Texas, and it always ends up being real successful. So hopefully I'll see you guys in August. So play smart and run like a god.